Welcome, welcome. I'm Rayanne, and this is the very tired cat I own, or maybe she owns me. Today I'm going to be talking about the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette that has literally been out for a year, so I'm a bit late to the game on this. Almost a year to the date, perhaps, when I'll be uploading this. It was released August 22nd, 2017, I believe. We are now in 2018. So, you know, better late than never. I really wanted to give this a shot. They just started to carry Morphe at the Ulta that is close to my house. So I figured, you know, trying to get more into colorful palettes, wanted to give this a shot. This is the packaging, as everyone knows. All the shades are on the back with their names, which is nice. And then there's beautiful eyeshadows themselves. The nice personal note from Jaclyn Hill, which is a sweet touch. And as you may notice, this palette is predominantly warm neutrals, which she is really, really well known for. And then there's some nice pops of color down here, which I definitely appreciate. This gorgeous mustardy color, like I, I love me a good mustard. So the ones I did try out today are mainly down on this row. I didn't try this guy yet, but these three predominantly. I've tried a bunch of other ones. These two are great for, you know, brow highlight. I really like that. I think for face highlight, that would be nice as well. So, so far, my first impressions. I am so happy with this palette. There are so many looks I could see doing with this palette. Just all the versatility, even if, you know, some of the colors do kind of look like they're the same, they are subtly different, which is nice. And having the option that you could pretty much blend any of them together. They are buttery soft. They are very, very nice to blend out. I had no trouble. They didn't get patchy. They didn't get weird. They don't seem like they wear down very quickly, which is nice, especially with these bold colors down here. You know, I'm very happy. Um, on part of this, I tried to dampen a brush and use it and then tried on the other part of it just to use it dry and it's better dry, which is very rare. That doesn't happen a lot. So I was very excited. This was $38. I think it's worth it. Definitely. And, you know, if you go to Ulta a lot and you're part of their rewards program, you do get that little coupon with their circular that comes every month that you get. I think it's like $3.50 off of your entire order of X amount of dollars. So I did save some money on this, which is cool. I mean, I only saved $2.96, but I'll take it, you know. Any savings is a good savings. And I'm really excited to see what kind of looks I can put together with this. Definitely, you know good way to spend my money on a palette that has a lot of good stuff. And especially, you know, having brown eyes, I feel like this has a lot of options for me. I think any color eye, this is going to have a lot of good options. There's so many things you could play around with. There's not like an oversaturation of shimmery, glittery to matte. I feel like it's a really even keel and that's nice. That doesn't happen a lot. So very much appreciate that. So 10 out of 10 would buy again. Um, and even, you know, the pan sizes are awesome. I like that. I don't like when I, you know, I don't use very large makeup brushes because I don't have very large eyes, but if my brush is squeezing into a pan and I'm using a small brush, that's not a good sign. And it, this is perfect. This is nice. You know, a little fallout with the, the greens, but again, if you're going to have the thought that you're going to wear a very eyeshadowy look, I guess is a good way to say it. Do your eyes first. Do the rest of your skin later. You will, you know, prevent that giant headache of trying to sweep everything away. And I don't like packing a lot of powder under my eyes because then I feel like I kind of look creepy afterwards. It just never works out for me. I know a lot of people do it and it looks fine. It's just not for me. So just doing it this way is a lot better. I don't know what she's looking at, but she's very intent on something right now and it's making me a little nervous. Please don't jump. Okay. She looks like a parrot, but yeah, love it. Can't wait to use it more. Super, super stoked. Like I said in the last one, are there any palettes that you guys are really excited about? I know that she's coming out with another uh, 
palette collection. I think it's a small one compared to this one is I believe 30, it is 35 pans. I think it's only four pans that she's going to be coming out with soon. They're just trying to, okay, they're just trying to tweak the formula right now because she really wants to give out a good product, which awesome. Thank you. So I would like to try that when that comes out. Anything you guys are really into right now, I really want to get my hands on like any Jeffree Star palette, particularly like start out with like the first ones he put out and then just go from there because they look beautiful and they're bright and they are beautiful. And I'm a big fan of his liquid lips. Like they're the most comfortable things I've ever used in my entire life. And I just, I can't wait to see what else he does. Okay. Bye. Where are you going? So what palettes are you guys really into? What do you recommend? What are ones that you felt were really overhyped and then you got them and you were disappointed maybe because you felt they were overhyped or maybe because then they just didn't act the way you wanted them to? Leave me a comment down below. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the like if you did like the video and hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and have a good day, guys. Uh, oh, I forgot my my other part here. So if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, please do so at Reanimator Reviews and you can follow me on Twitter at Reanimator. And again, I hope you guys have a great day and it is less humid here, so I'm very happy. So bye.